Shopify, you've disappointed me. I'm gonna preface this video by saying that, first of all, I have nothing against the people at Shopify. During both of my internships, I was treated incredibly well. I had a great time, I learned a ton. Overall, it was an awesome experience and I would work there again if given the opportunity. And truly, I have nothing against Shopify in specific. This video is more of an exploration of the state of tech right now and a phenomena of offers being rescinded. All right, with that out of the way, here's what actually happened. A few weeks ago, Shopify rescinded my new grad full-time return offer. At the end of my second internship in December, of 2022, Shopify formally extended a return offer to come back and start in August of 2023, this year. And of course, when I got the news, I was overjoyed. My primary goal during that internship was to secure a return offer. And when I did, I was happy. I was safe. I had a great job opportunity in my hands to start right as I graduated. My manager was also really happy, and together we made a celebratory announcement to my team that I'd be coming back in August full time. Everyone was really happy for me. I told my friends, my family, all the aunties and uncles were sending me texts about how great it was that I found a job in this market. Alas, from that point on, things started to turn for the worse. Something that should have tipped me off was the fact that Shopify was being really weird about sending me the official contract to sign. They initially told me that they were having normal delays because of the holidays and to expect the contract in early January. Then in mid-January, they sent out another email saying not to worry. They were just going through quote unquote tooling updates. The worst part about this was that I later found out that they weren't going through tooling updates. The problem was the fact that the senior leadership team refused to approve the the contract. So HR was waiting on them to formally do that. Why did upper management not check with the senior leadership team before extending dozens of intern return offers? They straight up gave out dozens of return offers without even checking beforehand if leadership was okay with that. And of course, they didn't tell any of the interns that this was going on. They made it seem like it was some sort of tooling updates or staffing delays. So I waited another couple of months and now it's March. And things seem really off because no company should take months to send a contract. This is such a regular part of extending an offer. At most, it should take just a few days to actually email you the contract. These contracts are all cookie cutter, copy and paste anyway. How hard could it possibly be? Then my manager, who's an absolute legend, messages me on LinkedIn and basically tells me to keep my guard up and look for other positions. Now, this should have been the final straw for me. The fact that my manager was implicitly expressing doubts at this point should have tipped me off that it wasn't going to work out and to put 100% of my effort into finding a new grad position. Now, at this point, I did start looking, but I still held out hope in my heart that I was just being paranoid, that nothing was wrong, that it was truly just tooling updates that explained why they were taking an ungodly amount of time. Finally, everything culminated on March 8th, when I got an email at 1.30 p.m. from a Shopify recruiter saying that they had an update they'd like to share with me and to book a meeting. Now, you guys have to remember, at this point, I had no idea what was happening. I genuinely thought this was finally the meeting where they were going to give me my contract, my salary, and I was going to sign and would be good. I remember when I saw that email asking me to schedule a meeting, I was so happy with relief that I would finally sign the written offer and I wouldn't have to worry. I almost passed out with joy. I'm not kidding. So I immediately scheduled that meeting for later that afternoon and waited excitedly to receive my offer. Meanwhile, I'm in this discord with a bunch of other Shopify interns and they all received the same email. Everyone was super happy too. I even joked, oh, what if they rescind our offers? Haha. -ha. And everyone was like, nah, that would never happen. They wouldn't make us wait this long just to rescind our offers. Don't worry about it. You're good. And then about half an hour after the meeting invite came out, the first intern had their meeting and all of a sudden he messages, I got rescinded. They're rescinding offers. And it was like someone screamed fire in a movie theater. People in the Discord started going apeshit. Nobody had any idea this was coming. One by one, at an increment of 20 minutes or so, another intern had their offer rescinded and they just messaged, rescinded, 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 rescinded. It was like Call of Duty or something. They were straight up sniping us one by one from a distance and there was nothing we could do. Finally, my meeting came, and at this time, I still had a little sliver of hope that I was different, that they were finally going to give me my offer. But what do you know, the recruiter logged on with a solemn face, and she regretted to inform me that the position I was offered is no longer available. You are done. Fired. It was like she had read off one of those auto-rejection emails. I don't know why they had to do a meeting. Honestly, I would have preferred an email, but at least a bunch of other interns had been rescinded before me, so I had some idea of what to expect. That first guy who got rescinded, it must have been brutal. After she broke the news to me, I asked them if there would be any kind of compensation, like Meta compensated their interns after their offers were rescinded, but she just shook her head. You know what they did offer, though, was a resume review service in exchange for the offer being rescinded. Basically, you can schedule a meeting with an intern coordinator, and she'll take a glance at your resume and give you feedback. I'm to be honest, this is like a slap to the face. Like, I'm gonna use it, but acting like a resume review service is in any way equivalent to a new grad offer is frankly ridiculous. So here's my analysis on what actually happened. From my perspective, the biggest wrong that Shopify did was not telling us for months that they were questioning our offers. I'll be gone a few weeks anyway. 
What? What? You just said that we're gonna be Do gone. Any messages? From December through March, the senior leadership team was well aware that they might not actually need all of these interns to come back, and that there was a good chance they wouldn't want to offer these roles at this time. But instead of being transparent with us and letting us know, they decided to keep us in the dark and pretend like it was logistical issues. And now this is speculation, but I kind of see why they did it. They wanted to keep us on the hook for as long as humanly possible, because on the off chance they actually did want to hire us, they didn't want us out looking for other jobs and potentially getting better offers. Only at the last minute when they were 100% sure they wouldn't need most of the interns, they told everyone in a short one to two day period, thus screwing people over. I personally know of 10 to 20 interns whose offers got rescinded, which means that it must be at least 30 to 40. All right, so what can we take away from my experience? What are some lessons that we can all apply? The biggest takeaway that I've gotten is Shopify at the end of the day is just like every other company. Your company is not your family and they only care about two things, their bottom line and shareholder value. And if an employee comes between the company and their stock price, that company will get rid of the employee in a second without a second thought. That's it. And here's the thing, we need to behave like them. The company doesn't care about you, so why should you care about them? If you accept a job offer, but you end up getting a better one later on, I see it as justified to renege on that first offer. The company would rescind if they found someone better. Let me tell you, and I had to learn that the hard way. This is a game and you are not friends with your employer. You need to be as ruthless as them. My second biggest takeaway is that our industry, the tech industry, is volatile as hell and you are never safe. This is why you need backups upon backups upon backups. My mistake is that when I got my return offer, I assumed I wouldn't need to worry. That was a huge mistake. I should have kept on lead coding, kept applying, kept interviewing, and only when I started to work, maybe then relax a little bit. Honestly, Honestly, should try to get two to three individual offers. Maybe one will pan out then. All right, so what's next for me? Well, I'm back on the lead code grind, baby. I'm going to be applying to full-time roles and internships. Hopefully I can get some interviews. If you work at a tech company and you want to help a brother out, shoot me a DM. Anything would be great. Also, final point, would I work for Shopify again? I'm not 100% sure. I had a great time working for them in the past and I really like the people. So maybe it would have to depend on what my future situation is like. The thing is that they're not better or worse than any other company. It's not like I hate Shopify now. I'm just disappointed in what happened. But yeah, that's the end of that. Thank you guys for watching. A like would be incredible and I will see you in the next video.